are pregnancies. Each and every uh, exam period, we get young girls, uh, children, delivering children. It's uh, also a serious problem in the country. One is on number 24 in implementing the, this program. The government has provided primary schools with digital devices. The devices include the teacher digital device, the learners digital devices, projectors, digital literacy program content servers, digital wireless routers, power supply for grid or solar power, device storage and charging and specific devices for special needs education. The learner digital devices have been loaded with approved interactive content from KICD. And this content is also adapted for purpose of special needs schools. When I look at that, I am almost asking, is this happening in one of the counties apart from Kiambu? Because I've not heard unless other members tell me this is how the primary schools are in their counties. Because to me, this is not in this country. It must be somewhere else. Uh, the other question I would want to ask is that uh, you have talked of the meetings that sub-counties do and uh, how they travel to the sub-counties. And I want to say that I, pre I, re I represent a county that has the biggest constituency, and that is Roiro. I also represent a county that has the biggest ward in this country, that is in Thika. Coincidentally, I represent a county that has the biggest and congested primary school, that is Mweki in Roiro. And Mweki is somewhere in Gedorai, with a capacity of 4,500 learners in a compound of one and a half acres, 4,500 learners. As we sit here, the Kipsea and KCP students there are 1,500 as we sit here today who are doing an exam there. And I'm only asking myself, when we talk of even retaining a coin for that school, such a school, which, is, which I even wonder whether the Ministry of Education ever visits, because that's a time bomb. The day something happens in Mweki Primary School, this country will go on. A, I don't know what will happen, but we are seated on a time bomb when we talk of Mweki Primary School. You can't keep 4,500 on one acre. Then I'm looking at the teachers today. The teacher has to do all this, and at the same time, you know, on the other end, teachers have to still take care of the girls in schools because still we cannot procure for sanitary towels, we cannot get from the other end. Now I am asking, where are we leaving our teachers? And finally, Wazili, you as, as only, uh, only two just questions. one. And finally, Wazili, I would want us to have an honest, con co co a, a, an honest discussion because when our teachers are suffering, con insisting to parents to give them something to be able to take care of the students, and we see you on national TVs every day saying that the education is supposed to be free. Where do you leave the teachers and us who are leaders? We too, we are, most of the times they will say we are lying to the public. So maybe we need to have an honest discussion. When we don't have, we don't have. When we meet the budget, we are able to meet. By the end of this meeting, we need to know is, exam, is, free, exam, uh, is primary education free, free or parents are supposed to chip in something and even us and even the teachers so that we know where we are. Thank you. We have had uh, changes due to inflation. Prices of food have changed. But there's the, the capitation that is never enough, that has remained to be around 16,000 and the rest, whereby up to now, more than 17 billion <coughs> have never been taken to schools. My question is, does the government consider changing the amount that they have been giving to schools throughout maybe due to inflation and other variables due to changes of time. The other thing is, uh, when a chairman, if you look at the, the background, the real object is to make sure that the, the poor child, like any other child, assesses education. But if you look at the way things have been tailored, is that the real poor have not been assessing education in this school. Because if you look at those kids who doesn't have certificates, for them to be captured in the names are the children from the peripheral uh, areas, uh, pupils from, and the students from poor background, they have not been receiving because these have been out day in, day out to look for bad certificates. Those from where are, Maybe these children were born in hospitals and the rest, and they have those. There are children who are now CS who have never, who are not born in, in hospitals. And to assess these ones due to bureaucracy, and the ministry knows, when you go to these agents, 
they are turned out, they are turned day in, and even the cost is so expensive. What is the ministry doing in liaison with the Ministry of Interior to ease the bureaucracy so that these poor students and the poor pupils can assess these certificates without uh, any problem? Because I believe this is just ironical to tell us about capturing. I know of a school in my rural area with a population of 1,000, and it is only 300 students who are captured in the names. Yes. What are you telling us if you can only give 300 students with 700 pupils not getting capitation? How will those schools run? I think there's a mockery. It's, a, it's just the theories and the stories that it does not add up. What we need to be given money is the actual pupils, the actual pupils whom your ministry officials can count. And they tell us that school A has 700, has 300, and not the theories of computers. My question is, one, that you have, why are you every other time issuing a circular telling us yeah. you are giving out 22,000? Why? And you are giving out 16,000. That's question one. Two, on the issue of co-curricular activities, uh, on table seven, on table seven, you are releasing 40 shillings. Why? And yet the, the, the child is playing in school and it is 70 shillings. Why do you retain that? Yeah. To do what? What are you doing with it? Waziri, it is, it is 70 shillings per child. And to make matters worse, the 40 gets lost between the headquarters and the, and the region and the, and the county and the sub-county. In fact, ask these members here, we always foot bills for buses. Every time they'll ask us, eh, we want to travel for music, we want to travel for this. So, why don't you release everything? If it is 70 shillings, release it down to the sub-county and down to the school. We don't want any other bottlenecks in between here. So, and then the last thing, can you give us a, a list of what you use the retained money for yeah. per child. You retain five, two hundred. You use, I've said you have seen you have a dwarf here, you have textbooks, you have what? Tell us this money that you retain at the, at the, at the national office, shilling for shilling, so that we get to know what it is. My question is given that uh, in all those schools, the investigations have revealed in some schools. It matters to do with drugs or matters to do with road students. But in some schools, obviously there are questions around administrators of those schools, grievances around administrators of those schools. And in, 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 in schools where uh, the grievances have been uh, connected to the students, I mean the, 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 the incidents have been connected to the students, the matter was handled according to the report. The matter was handled by the school administration in line with rules and regulation on student discipline. Now, my question is, in schools, particularly Sokoke Boys Secondary and Bale Secondary School, where the grievances for students to, to riot was, was related to the school administrators, was anything done? For example, in Sokoke, they say failure to undertake improvements in classrooms and other physical facilities at the school, and failure to effectively supervise teachers to ensure that teachers were teaching their assigned workload. And in... Uh, and in uh, Bale Secondary School, the grievances were around. They accused the, 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 the school administrator of having contributed to deteriorating in academic performance and in failing to enable the school excel in co-curricular activities. Was there anything done in, in, in situations where the grievances obviously were around actions of the school administrators? Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Chairperson. To start with the first point, uh, monitoring and evaluation. Uh, of all our programs and the policies on the ground. As you are aware, members, is that uh, we have a structure all the way from the national level to the lowest level. Apart from our sub-county directors of education at that lower level, we also have the quality assurance officers. So they, that, uh, that monitoring that we get and uh, evaluation which we do each and every other time, we are able to get feedback on the same and even where we get that we have challenges on any given area we try to mitigate 
on the challenges that we are given out of the reports that we get uh, uh, considering the monitoring and the evaluation that is done. Rightly so, uh, Honorable Chairperson, that uh, the digital devices, uh, government procured 1.1 million of these uh, 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 digital devices which were given out uh, to all our schools uh, countrywide. They are not a number such. We have a specific number of the gadgets as given to each and every uh, school. And uh, uh, what we are trying to do, because our major problem, of course, as you have rightly identified, has been funding over the years in order to be able to effectively operationalize this, uh, because it is at some kind of inoccupation uh, stage. There are schools which uh, uh, somehow they have taken a step, you find uh, uh, they are doing something about it. But this is one other, other area that uh, moving forward, uh, we will be putting it in, a, in our budget uh, and hopefully uh, chairperson uh, that uh, you will be considering so that we are able to operationalize this because of the importance that we all know uh, it has in our young people and considering that we are in the 21st century where these digital skills are very, very key. Muiki uh, 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 primary, which has uh, 4,000 uh, 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 kids and over. I was in Norimbic uh, primary school yesterday, uh, which has uh, <coughs> almost 6,000 kids. Uh, those of you who have gone there, the ones who were doing Kipsea and the KCP were 1,695, a number which uh, sometimes you can see is unmanageable actually. It's like manning uh, an entire sub -location. So I said, uh, and I think that is what we are going to do for Mwiki, and understand even Pungoma DB uh, might also fall in this category. The schools around... And Kakamega Primary. Yeah, the schools around because... Yeah, uh, the disaster before. Yes, like uh, Olympic, I was able to identify the schools around, and uh, chairperson, we said, we must have road. We must do something. We cannot be able to. But, but CS Mwiki, I think we have, uh, in the last parliament, this committee has been there. It is yes. a bit different. If you check out Olympic, the land is a bit spacious. Yes. But Mwiki, it is one acre, not even an acre. It is almost less than an acre. Yeah. And having 4,500 students there, in fact, it is a disaster waiting to happen. So if it is proper uh, CS, you really need to have what we call emergency plans for Mwiki. Either you decongest the school completely and have very few students, or you buy land and expand the school. Because that one is a disaster waiting to happen. And I think it is, it is time you really move with speed on that. Thank you. Uh, it has come to my attention. I will personally make a point of going there. At the least Olympic I was there, and uh, I did agree, I even spoke uh, to the member of parliament of uh, Kipra when I was in that area, we agreed on what we are going to do, plus the meeting we have had with the members of parliament for Nairobi. Mwiki will also be on top of my agenda, uh, and the uh, next time I come, I think, the honorable chairperson, we should be able to report to this committee what we have identified and the solution as far as this particular school is concerned. Asun, in a, a number of our schools, uh, Chairman, I did admit that we have a serious problem concerning drug and substance abuse in our communities. It's almost everywhere, uh, and I think it's not only the means of education which can be able to deal with this. It has to be a combined, concerted effort uh, by all government agencies, all uh, leaders, members of parliament, members of county assembly, the religious groups, because it's a very, very serious problem that we have in this country uh, concerning our young people. Uh, even it is uh, uh, infiltrating into our primary schools, not only secondary, universities, Tibet institutions. So I think moving forward is something that will require a combined effort. But in schools, we are trying to emphasize on guidance and counseling 
uh, uh, of course, uh, with the chaplaincy, uh, imams, uh, uh, we are not going to employ people from outside. The teachers in the schools, uh, we assign one of them, would be able to do a little bit of guidance and counseling because it's a serious issue. Even pregnancies, early pregnancies, each and every uh, exam period, we get young girls, uh, children, delivering children. It's uh, also a serious problem in the country. At least this year, the one case which has come to my notice is the one which happened in Kipra. I think out of that pressure and anxiety, but we are also saying the society has to come in in this. JSS, uh, schools which have not received a uh, capitation, I think uh, I will seek the indulgence of the committee chair so that we work out on these figures because you remember even registration of schools. Uh, when we came before the committee, there were quite a number of schools which had not been registered. But uh, following uh, uh, what we promised here, we have now had interventionary measures and we have been able to register a number of schools. So I promise and undertake that uh, we will be able to do this assignment such that in the case uh, of those schools which were not given capitation, uh, CSS, we know why and uh, uh, we have them included in the program. So we should be able to come up with a specific answer in the next meeting that we will be able to provide the specific numbers. It was in the government program chairperson to provide electricity to all our uh, uh, schools and I think the program went on very well. I know we have not covered 100% and uh, uh, the program we have of uh, uh, digital, digitization in our schools cannot be done and cannot be effective unless we, we do this. And we will be able to combine efforts because we have a list of the schools countrywide which are not covered with direct twisters yet so that uh, our counterpart in means of energy can be able to uh, uh, fast track on the same so that moving forward as we engage other development partners to provide the necessary required resources in this, we can be able to make sure that at least there is that enabling and environment electricity is available. We did request the 22 uh, billion, and I think, uh, uh, Chairperson, some of these things uh, will be upon your discussion also uh, 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 as a committee and as a parliament, in including the figures we have been able to include in higher education. The figures that we have given you as a committee for NEC, because we want to do an exam which is really good and we are going to pay our examiners. So those figures are with the committee and we are hoping that we should be able to get proper answers from uh, Parliament concerning the proposals that we have been able to make as a ministry. Uh, I will request my peers anything I brought to you. Back. Chair, I think the Cabinet Secretary has adequately captured on the, the issues. On JSS, as already said, we are cleaning up quite a number of our data that we have received. Some of them, they were mix-ups in, in the way that they fed the information. Some used the primary school accounts, others. So we are cleaning up the data and we want to assure members that uh, this JSS issue will be dealt with. and. Uh, by the time we come back here, we shall have been able to deal with it in a way that uh, will be conclusive and satisfactory to all of us. Thank you. Thank you. I not primary education. Yeah. We are talking of basic education. Basic. Yeah, yeah, because you. this one is called free day, but we also be removed. There's no free day education. Order, order. Thank you. Out of order. Thank you. Out of order. Thank you. Out of order. Chair, Chair, before he answers, yes. Chair, there is word out here that. Uh, the ministry announced that there will be increase of fees in but our schools. Let, let, let the ministry now come out clear and tell the, <laughs> and let the public. Yes, what is it? What is it? Thank you. Yes, Waziri, you know. Thank you. you are the person. Yes, yes. The means of education is here. The CS is here. Uh, uh, 
and my PSS are here. And if there was any announcement to come concerning an increase of school fees, of course it will come from uh, the top means of officials here. And uh, uh, we will not increase the school fees even before we get a concurrence of this particular committee, Honorable Chair, that one, you know. So really, the government has not been able to increase fees. I also saw it is somewhere in the, in the media. We also want to say that as a committee of education, the, the, the inquiry that we carried out, we've seen very fruitful results. That uh, now you are able to give out what the PSA supplementary exams for those who missed, it's quite uh, in order, especially the sick, those who give birth. That is actually giving Kenyans another opportunity in life. That one, we want, I want to thank members for the kind of work they did. Two, we also say uh, the, the way the exams are going on, we as a committee, we shall also move out and sup, uh, oversight the kind of uh, uh, activities going on across the country. And uh, lastly, uh, on the issue of uh, on the on the issue of uh, uh, what the the schools, the moving around schools, that's monitoring and evaluation. The other day we saw you release cars. Kindly move across, go down to the school to ensure that work is going on. Thank you so much, Waziri, and thank you, honourable members. Radio 88.2 FM. We are in charge.